Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazan of Chess Channel and welcome to another powerful gameplay by the two strongest chess engines in the world. Welcome to spectacular gameplay by Stockfish 16 and the Lila C0 in a crazy Murphy defense of the Rui Lopez theory. So as I promised you we will continue now to follow Stockfish and Lila C0's games in regular openings what it means that the engines can calculate the position from move one they don't have to play bad openings that are pre-arranged by the organizer which is i think very very important for us we want to see some regular openings like um, the Rui lopez the italian opening the queen's game decline english opening the sicilians maybe even the nimzo in the defense in my opinion is very solid so we want to play uh really the most popular openings and we want to see sidelines opportunities novelties introduced to us by the most powerful chess engines in the world so let's see now what happened put your seatbelts on this is really crazy crazy epic sharp tactic battle between Stockfish 16 and the Lila C0. So with the white pieces, the fish open with move e4. Lila's response was e5. Knight to f3. We have knight to c6, bishop to b5. The Rui Lopez, the Spanish game is on the board. a6. Uh, we have the Murphy defense. Bishop to a4, knight to f6, casting b5. Bishop to b3, and now bishop to c5. Here, Lila C0 develops the dark square bishop on the most active square and wants now to play d6. Uh, bishop to b7 and i think black would have a solid setup the downside a little bit uh, for about the sideline is that uh stockfish plays here immediately the move a4 breaks now the spaces that black gained on the queen side here the issue for black is now that you would left to advance the pawn to b4 here but in my opinion this is not a good sideline for black because you would get this one knight takes e5 knight takes d4 uh we have bishop to d4 and now for queen to d4 also the knight is hanging but also the pawn is hanging and now black has several problems after queen to e7 uh even some lines with bishop to f4 could work in some later stages also f4 with this pawn majority attack with this four versus three situation and with the power of the bishop pair i think um, black is facing many many position problems already or you can maybe try here to move d6 to protect the knight but then the pawn on b for b4 is hanging or maybe you can try knight to c6 the only way maybe to protect the pawn but now after queen to c5 uh, would prevent here black from casting immediately you're trying maybe i don't know d6 then the knight is hanging on c6. you're trying maybe bishop to b7 and now white will play simply f3 will simply play bishop to g5 it's an open battle and in open games of course the bishops are much 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 more powerful so i will not say here black is completely busted or something but it's i think a much much better position here for white so that's why i remove a4 here bishop to b7 by lila the most powerful line um of course there is also a problem after a takes b5 the rook could be hanging on the a file so that's why bishop to b7 keeps everything glued together here so we have for bishop to b7 we have c3 preparation to play the move d4 by stockfish d6 by lila d4 anyway we have bishop to b6 and now rook to e1 protecting now the e4 pawn and what should black do in the game uh, here kingside castling played by uh, lila stockfish pin the knight immediately you could maybe prevent this with h6 you could do it but i think again it's a certain loss of a tempo here by by black because then white will continue with the powerful bishop to e3 would simply develop the bishop on a good square and the issue is for black here that even if you play knight to g4 White doesn't have to even react here. White will simply play a powerful bishop to d5 and would pin actually the knight on c6. Very, very tough to handle than the pin because if you play knight to f3, f takes e3, the problem is now you cannot get immediately out of the pin with knight to a5 uh, because you get this one. b4, you take, and now after a takes, um, um, uh, pardon me, b takes a4, 5, both of these bishops would be hanging. So uh, game over, I would say here already for black. Of course, black doesn't have to play the game like this. After bishop to e3, you don't need to attack the knight here on g4 uh, with the move knight to g4. But then after h3, knight to d2, I think slowly and surely white would build then a beautiful attacking formation. But okay, after rook to e1, Lila c0 played Kelsey. Loud here, Stockfish to pin the knight on f6. We have uh, now h6 by Lila, bishop to h4, and now after e takes d4 now the real fun starts stockfish continues of course with c takes d4 lila c0 doesn't want to tolerate uh this pin this dangerous bishop's attack but now stockfish of course you can guess what the fish is doing plays now the most powerful knight to g5 and when we watch now the database after knight to g5 uh actually many games have been played and 
surprisingly, well, the first winning game is actually here by black. Then many draws, also winning games by white. So I would say that this is a popular line also in top grandmaster level, uh, but very, very with different outcomes. So it's a spectacular sideline uh, where the engines are having now huge, huge problems to solve all of the tactical possibilities. So after knight to g5, we have h takes g5 by Melilla, bishop to g5 by the fish, and now knight to d4. To see now, this knight is still pinned. That's, I think, the only warnable thing in black's position. Of course, also the king is a little bit endangered, but all of the other pieces, we have to say, it, are in powerful shape. Bishops are very, very dangerous. Knight is centralized, so let's see now what Stockfish had in mind when Stockfish sacrificed the piece. So after knight to d4, Stockfish continues now with bishop to d5. Uh, puts more pressure against this bishop here on b7. And what should black do? My Stockfish at home suggests that you should play here bishop to d5. But it's still a complicated line to handle here for, for black. After something like e takes d5, you could maybe try here knight to f5, but then actually g4. Very dangerous. You have to retreat. Now we play knight to c3 normal development. Black has to compete now in the e file. Now after queen to f3, you're trying to simplify by trading off the rooks and of course uh, protecting further your knight on f6. But then after rook to e4, still a, I would say a very, very tough uh, position to defend. You're trying maybe bishop to f2, can be played here. Uh, the promise of after king to f2, knight to e4 could come uh, with a huge attack against the king, so black would get out of this mess. But now after king to g2, you retreat. We play knight to e2. Uh, you're trying c6 maybe to crack the position somewhere here. Now we take. You're trying this one. Rook to f4. Very, very messy. Even if you try king to g7, knight is coming. Knight to g3, knight to f5, uh, knight to h5, or knight to f5 is, I think, again, very, very unpleasant to handle uh, here for black although although up a piece but um, the activity of white pieces i think is uh very very tough to defend so after bishop to d5 i would say that lila c0 played even here a slightly worse continuation with the move c6 uh after uh, c6 stockfish continues now with a beautiful signature move that stockfish usually plays plays now a powerful rook to a3 the issue about this move is that you cannot take the bishop immediately you, you have to uh, escape first because after rook to g3 uh, there's simply no good defense anymore for black although black is up to minor pieces but look at it you have to get out of this mess on the on the g file now we play e5 you take rook is coming if you try maybe to somehow uh, to protect your lie squares here then look at this queen to d3 you play knight to f5 we take the queen is coming if you escape here to a check then we have this one uh, rook to h5 so the activity of the rook is simply again too much to handle uh, here for black black is running even into a checkmate pattern. So after rook to a3, that's why rook to e8 played by Lila c0. Lila is trying to get out of this uh, g file mess uh, by escaping with the king on uh, f8 first and on e7, maybe d7. But Stockfish continues, of course, with rook to g3. Anyway, we have now uh, bishop to f8. And now after bishop to h6 and king to e7, we will reach now the position of the thumbnail. Now Stockfish plays now the beautiful bishop takes f7 really really well stuff sacrifices another piece the problem for black is, is that you cannot take king takes f7 because rook to g8 is going rook to g7 pardon is going to happen you have to escape with the king you don't want to play on f8 because you're getting in front of the bishop but now with queen to d3 the main threat is actually queen to h3 and even if you try to play d5 to escape with the king somehow queen to h3 bishop is coming queen to c3 game over uh here for black very very wild stuff uh the position after bishop to f7 so that's why rook to f8 stockfish escapes uh, we have king to d7 we have now knight to c3 uh by lila c0 good move uh, pardon me by stockfish normal development you have to bring now all of your pieces into the attack lila c0 has to again defend doesn't have even so much time to react here lila c0 played now the good move i would say here the move c5 is trying now to lock simply the light score bishop on a2 out of the game and of course puts more pressure against the pawn on e4. Stockfish continues with rook to g6. We have queen to e8 by Lila c0 and now rook to g5. And the rook is under fire. We have now the move c4 by Lila, locking out finally the powerful light score bishop. The problem is now you cannot take here knight to e4. This doesn't make sense. Then bishop to f8 is uh, going to happen. If queen to f8, then 
the queen gets deflected from the bishop, so this not work. So that's why c4, good move by Lila. Stockfish continues with a powerful e5. Uh, we have knight to h7, check by Stockfish. Lila covers, and now rook to g6 again putting more pressure on the 6th rank actually because after uh, d takes e5 the bishop is hanging on b6 so this is not working so that's why after rook to g6 lila c0 tried now a dirty idea rook takes f2 the problem is now uh here after king to f2 you cannot play that of course because queen is uh, tr uh, uh taking the rook and now there is also problem around square g2 there is this problem of the dark square bishop so i think this is game over now suddenly for white so that's why after rook takes f2 stockfish has to play now rook takes d6 but still has tactical problems uh on this diagonal but now finally after king to c7 stockfish actually takes uh takes the pawn on f2 uh, pardon me the piece on f2 uh, and gets simply in front of the dark square bishop very very really wild stuff the problem again for black is that black doesn't have really such a great great uh discovered check even if you try here i don't know something like knight to f5 then after rook takes b6 you can take of course and now after a5 we attack the king indirectly of course the king has to again escape we put bishop to e3 now the queen is coming and with this two connected pass pawns on the king side i think in the potential end game white is winning the game for sure also we have the pass on the e-file so white can even simplify the game training off more pieces and this is pretty solid. Instead of this move, knight to f5 here, you could maybe try bishop to c5 uh, here to attack uh, the rook. But actually, again, white has very, very nice defensive ideas. This wasn't playing the game, but I wanted to show you how really almost there is not good possibility anymore here for black. After rook to e3, you try maybe now knight to f5. Now we play knight to d5. Look at this crazy position. Now we get the king out of this mess. You take... We take bishop to e3. You could maybe even try to take this one, uh, bishop to d6. And it seems so that the position is lost uh, here for white. Because also, if you take uh, the piece here, the queen will take the bishop on e3. But Stockfish has calculated everything in a good way. Queen to d4 with the threat of queen to b6, queen to c7. Checkmate. So you have to play something like queen to c6. But now we deliver a check. You cover. Now we take out this one. Look at this crazy, crazy position. So you cannot compete, of course, on the seventh rank. The bishop is targeting. So again, a really messy position. Maybe you try bishop to c6, queen to g7, and now we even let the pawn roll. So uh, although black is up the exchange, or even in this particular line, uh, the rook is not playing such an important role so far in the game. In my opinion, not a good position. So the engine says also here this completely, completely winning uh, here for white. So after king to f2, you see messy position seems that it's white white that's losing but actually uh not another great game here for black so after queen to f7 lila c0 played even the worst continuation now seems so that uh, white cannot escape but stockfish plays now the calm king to e3 really really wild stuff even if you try here maybe again uh double check with the knight and also uh the bishop here then after king to d2 you can maybe try knight to d6 again e, t e takes d6 uh you're trying maybe to escape finally with the king king to c1 and again we would have the position where uh the material is equal but of course white has extra pawn so it's not a playable position you try maybe something like bishop to g2 now the rook is coming now look at this bishop to f4 um actually Black's king is in this position more endangered. Okay, white had this nice route with the king, but actually white's king on c1 is perfectly fine. A very, really crazy, crazy position. But after king to e3, you see uh, Lila tried this double check, this method. Stockfish retreats again. We have now knight to e1, but after queen to e1, we, we are reaching now a similar position. Even if you try now bishop to g2, uh, a takes b5, a takes b5. Now this bishop is coming into the game. So again, I would say completely busted position for black, especially because of this extra pawn. So after queen to e1, uh, here bishop to g2 was not Lila c0 continuation. Lila c0 tried b4, attacking the knight, but now Stockfish shows another brilliant idea, plays now the beautiful e6. Simply lets the pawn roll here. So here, what should black do? If you try here queen to f2 delivering a check, then after queen to f2, uh, of course, black has this idea. B takes c3, b takes c3, bishop to f2. But after rook to d7, uh, king to b6, we have a5 deflecting maybe uh, the king from the defense of the bishop. Bishop to c4 is going to happen again, an open game. 
again extra pawns for white favorable end game game over uh, here for black so after move e6 that's why uh, b takes c3 first so stockfish again sacrifices another piece we have really really crazy position b takes c3 queen to g6 attacking now the bishop bishop to f4 uh, again a dangerous attack against the king we have bishop to c5 we have now rook to d7 double check king to b6 it seems so uh that lila c0 is escaping but now another beautiful move a5 here by the fish trying of course to get the king closer to the action here uh whenever we have a king hunt, a king hunt then we want to uh get the king closer to our side of the board where it cannot of course be attacked lila c0 didn't play king to a5 because actually it would be very dangerous with bishop to c4 you could maybe deliver check uh, but now we cover with bishop to e2 and then you're getting destroyed by the queen's activity on the a and b file uh the rook is very active the bishops are uh, already already targeting many uh many diagonals and many squares so game over again here for black so after move a5 that's why lila c0 escaped to a7 we have bishop to e3 stockfish uh, forces here a trade of bishops lila c0 is trying somehow to hold the position finally really getting this rook into the game stockfish continues now with bishop to c5 rook to c5 queen to e3 lila c0 there is a check we have king to b2 queen to g2 again and you check and now with queen to g5 it seems really so that uh lila is defending this position finally maybe a trades of queens but actually that was stockfish's mean plan after queen to g5 uh knight to g5 uh this pawn is almost unstoppable and we have also this passer so as i said all of this stuff all of this madness all of this moves all of this tactics stockfish created just to have this beautiful end game after 90 g5 stockfish continues with 90 e7 of course lila c0 has this defensive resource but after bishop to b1 now stockfish shows as i said it's mean plan basically lila c0 is playing now the only moves here knight to f7 bishop to g6 knight to d6 uh here stockfish um is challenging this way lila is somehow controlling of course um uh, um uh, the d8 square you cannot take of course because then actually it will be maybe a drawish line but after knight to d6 stockfish is paralyzing actually it'll stock uh the rook on e5 but also the knight on d6 is simply a beautiful idea h4 we have rook takes a5 stockfish even allows here lila c0 to take the pawn but now pushes simply uh the h5 for here pawn. so we have rook to e1 we have king to b2 rook to e2 no good checks anymore by lila uh, lila tries somehow to activate also the pawns on the queen side but now rook takes d6 finally stockfish is saying my uh, pawn is far advanced it's advanced enough now now i have a winning end game after rook to e7 look at this uh, h6 rook to e3 we have h7 rook takes c3 stockfish is even allowing uh this idea lila c0 does have good moves and after rook to h3 actually in this particular position lila c0 resigned why did it resign because after queen king to a5 you can maybe try c3 but now rook to e8 uh, rook to d8 is unstoppable um black has to give up now the rook here uh, this bishop is controlling any good move by a uh, black slice for bishop c2 is of course not possible so game over uh, here for black so phew, great game great tactics but also great end game we have seen i think uh where lila c0 kept an extra piece but stockfish calculated everything in a good way advanced the pawns enough and uh reached the full end game stage crazy crazy spectacular murphy defense of the Rui lopez series so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really really enjoyed a lot epic epic tactics we have seen basically everything here this is really a hall of fame chess game in the Rui lopez series so okay if you want to see another sharp tactical beautiful uh monstrous chess like this check out our com the chess games play by computer series here's the link of our playlist and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and what do we say in the end chess is the best of course